how to create this super cute style. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? In this video, I wanna show you how to use Allura to make this super cute chibi style. Now, Allura can be understood like an add-on to a full model that is trained on a certain style, certain person, or a certain object. In a future video, I wanna show you how to train them yourself with a high quality and when to use Allura, when to train a model. This time, we're just having fun with that. And over here, you would download that file and and you put that into your automatic 1111 models and LoRa folder in there with your other LoRas. Now, when you scroll down here, and this is pretty important, you can see here for this specific LoRa, add to the prompt full body and chibi, which is this kind of Japanese comic style with the big hats, looks a little bit like a bobble head figure. Then they say you want to use the Laura with a weight of one. I will show you in a second what that means. And they have used it mainly with the checkpoint ref animated checkpoint means model. So you can click on that link, which will bring you to this page here. And there you want to download the version 1.2.2. You can also use an earlier version with that and still get good results results if you already have ref animated on your drive. Again, you will download this here on the right side, but this time, of course, not into the LoRa folder, but instead into the models folder and there into the stable diffusion folder. With this specific model, I am using the VAE 840,000. So if you get images that look desaturated, you might want to download that also. For that, you can go here to this link. There you have it with the save tensor format. Click here on the down pointing arrow. And this time we are going to download that into the models folder and then into the VAE folder in here with your other VAEs. Now, if all of that sounds a little bit much, this is actually a good preparation to be more flexible with your rendering and get higher quality on general. So I would highly suggest that you follow these steps, whether you use that LoRa or not. Also, you can see up here, I have a quick select for my VAE. To get this quick select, what you want to do is to go to settings. Here you want to go to user interface on the left side. Down here, you can see quick settings list. And in there, you simply want to write SD underscore VAE and then apply settings and of course, reload the UI. And then up here, you have your choice where you can select the VAE you want to use and get different results with that. All right, so far so complicated or easy. Now let's have some fun here. So I have here my prompt and this is the prompt also from there website what they suggest but i switch this to have a cute old lady here with a handbag so this prompt is reading you can see a lot of that is in round brackets at the start masterpiece best quality ultra detailed full body with a weight of 1.2 so you have your colon then 1.2 then i have a double bracket this highlights it this gives it more weight without the weight number with old granny so i'm really pushing that i want to have an old granny here holding a handbag then we have here chibi cute smile open mouth blue eyes open eyes flower outdoors wearing reading glasses i added that here so we have these glasses of course then another round bracket beautiful detailed face beautiful detailed eyes and here we have the Laura now how do you add the Laura to this prompt on the right side here you have this pink button you want to click on that you want to click here on the Laura tab then you want to click here on refresh to load all of the Laura's that you have and down here you can see all of them so here we have our blind box v1 mix now when you mouse over that you can also see that there is a replace preview button so if you have render an image you like you click on that and now this is applied so it's easier for you to find that laura without even needing to read that text if you want to apply that to your prompt you simply click on that and then it is applied up here in these pointy brackets 
To close this again, click again on this pink button over here on the right side. And now here for the weight, they suggest one. Now, if you want to have a little bit more impact for the model that you're using, you can also use other models, not just Rev Animated. For example, Deliberate is also nice. You can lower this value, for example, to 0.8, which I find is a good value because it preserves most of the LoRa input, but at the same time gives a little bit more freedom to the model to do its own thing. We also have here a very simple negative prompt but it seems to work very well here with these very cute images that I created. So we have simply low quality with a weight of 1.3 and worst quality also with a weight of 1.3. Now it is mainly suggested that you use the sampling method Euler A. Here you have a sampling step is a little bit higher here. On their page they select 28. I'm using 30 here. I'm having my resolution 512 by 768. My CFG scale is at 7. And down here you can set of course your seat. Now I also want to suggest something else to you that you can try to play around with this a little bit more. And that is to click here on extra. There you have a variation strength. You can set here either a seed number or set this to a random seed. And what that means is the result will be fairly similar to what you have already. This can be a very nice addition when you already found a prompt that works well, but you want to have a little bit variation over here. Now here I prepared a rendering sample with different sample methods. You can see that they give fairly different results. Of course, Euler A gives what is closest to what they imagine as an output on their site. But you also have here other samplers. Now, for example, samplers like UniPC or DPM++ 2M seem to give larger figures that don't have this specific bobblehead look to them, but at the same time, but at the same time have a very cute style to them. So that might also be a good idea to try that out. And of course, as always, I want to suggest to you to use my upscale trick with image to image to add some extra quality to that. So if you found an image you like, you click here to send to image to image. So everything is over here. You prompt negative prompt all of the settings. But what you want to do here is to double both the width and the height. So in my case, that would be 1024 by 1536. You can set that to lower if your GPU can't handle such a high resolution. The denoise strength should be between 1.0 and 1.3 to have a fairly similar result. So when we look at this image here, you can see that this now has a bit more details. You see this very fine stitching and these very nice flowers here on the dress that have a little bit higher resolution. So this is a little trick that you should do before you do upscaling just to add more quality, more depth to your image. Another thing that is very important here is when you send this over to image to image, usually this also sends the original resolution. That can be a bit of a pain. So what you want to do here is to go to settings again. You want to go to user interface and there you want to unhook the check mark send size when sending prompt or image to another interface because then it's sending everything but the image resolution. Send me your results in my Discord or Facebook group. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.